Hi everyone, my name is Rick and welcome to Rick's 135th Scale Models. Today I'm going to be looking at a kit that I've been waiting for for a little over a year to arrive and I just got one and I'm all excited. That would be the Borders new Kodiak. Now it's a 135th scale model, it looks really nice inside, it's, it's a definitely uh, Border did a good job on this. Um, looking at the overall kit itself, uh, I'm impressed. It currently is being deployed to multiple countries, Singapore, Switzerland, the Netherlands, uh, Norway, uh, and apparently everything I've read, Germany, which it has the markings for, bought 44 of them. They're looking at delivery sometime this year or over the next three years. Sadly, I don't have pictures of the German version and what they're actually going to get. Um, so when I'm doing the review, one of the things I will talk about is some of the things that I think the kit may not have that the German version, which is what I'm going to be building, would have on it. The main thing being the camera system for like the Spectus and all those types of things. But uh, we'll dive into the actual product. This model, you can build either a Swiss version or you can build the German version. Now, it doesn't have any license plates for the German version. It just has the uh, side marker and then some of the warning placards. So that's kind of a shortfall on that aspect of it. But other than that, like I said, overall, it's a nice kit. It's got lots of options. So let's dive in and take a look at it. So looking at the instructions, you've got your uh, box art on the front of this, a really nice color picture. And then you go into the actual instruction process. They have a uh, brief history of the vehicle here, some uh, different pictures of different aspects of it. And then they have the layout of all the different sprue sheets. It has quite a few to the kit itself. And then you go into the instructions. Now, they basically have taken a Border Leopard 2A6 model and modified a lot of the parts which makes sense but it does involve quite a bit of cleaning up, removing and adding, drilling holes, things like that. Um, you can see here all the different aspects of building the hull. Uh, these usually go together really easy. Uh, what I like is they have this part here which uh, makes everything line up a lot nicer. And then you've got your uh, uh, different back end here with your different aspects. One of the things like I had mentioned is if they have the Spectus system on this vehicle, these tail lights will be different because they'll they, they shape them differently with that setup. Um, but I haven't seen anything to verify one way or the other. Going through, it does have the uh, uh, axles that pivot, which is a nice effect, especially if you're going to do a diorama with this vehicle. And then you have the assembly of the road wheels. They have the little. Uh, poly cap inside which makes it nice to you can move the road wheels and paint and all those aspects continuing on in going through uh, this different uh, processes now like I said you can build the German version or the Swiss version with this kit um, this kind of goes through drilling holes what you need to add you have two tops in this model you've got a German top and a Swiss top um, so that's that quite a bit of small PE sheet parts and small plastic pieces which adds a lot of detail but quite a bit to assemble. One of the first things that I noticed that seems different and I would uh, speculate isn't correct is on the German version you're using these types of smoke launchers for the white phosphorus grenades. Um, these are nothing I've ever seen on a German vehicle. They use a standardized one on every vehicle. They all look the same. Um, and the Swiss kit, their Swiss version of this kit uses those. So I, I would speculate that, I don't know what this is, uh, the demonstrator model is what it had, but the Swiss version would probably be what the Germans are going to go with as far as the smoke launchers go. And you can see working through here uh, the Swiss version has a remote gun on the top and the German version has the standard air defense MG here's the smoke launchers part here which look more like a standard German on the leopard tanks you would see uh, going through the different assembly processes uh, your camera systems your winch systems different uh, tools and aspects they have a nice PE sheet for the grill on the back, makes a little added extra detail. All these parts are real thin and accurate to scale, they look real sharp. 
and then they have the PE sheet around the uh, intake vents here uh, which is also really nice going through with the two part uh, to add on to the deck you don't have the option to do the uh, engine area which would be a neat effect too but with all the tool racks it's you don't really want to have all that going through your uh, tow cable system uh, those types of aspects they have the uh, rear view camera here both of the Swiss and the German version have the same with the spotlights and the backup camera uh, like I said if it's a spec to system added to the vehicle this would be different looking um, but you know, we'll see what ends up coming out and then you start the assembly of the, uh, the blade in the front and all the hookup setups lots of uh, small plastic parts and lots of PE sheets lots of detail added uh, Then you go into the actual boom part. Now the neat thing about this kit is they, a lot of times you have to scratch out and add the uh, cables for the hydraulics and electrics. They have all that in this kit, which makes it a much nicer kit. Um, it's all functional, everything moves and articulates. Really neat uh, add-on qualities there. They have the camera system up on the uh, boom, which I've seen in the uh, videos advertising this vehicle. You have a couple different setups for the protective uh, plates that are over the hydraulics. The Swiss version has one type and the German version has a different type. And then you have your non-skid plating for the PEs up here. And then your large bucket. Now they have a couple different bucket versions. This one just has your standard, uh, I'm not sure what size bucket it is, but a fairly large bucket. The other ones have an actual clamp setup uh, which is also neat then you have going through the storage rack that sits on the back of it you have two different versions you have a Swiss version and the German version now they have a uh, storage rack here which is open and I've seen in the pictures something that looks similar to like a mixer cement mixer that sits back there I'm not sure what it is uh, I haven't figured it out yet but I'm still researching that but uh, they have that mount set up here and then on the uh, German version it's on this side, the Swiss version it's on the opposite side. Um, who knows what will actually be done when the Germans actually uh, get the vehicles and deployed. The putting everything on the actual vehicle itself either via the Swiss version or the uh, German version and then adding all the tracks. The tracks are uh, links which is nice. Uh, they go together really easy. Uh, they look real nice once they're complete and they do function so here's the actual vehicle done then they have a nice schematic of your paint scheme front and rear the uh, Swiss version is a little more uh, distorted on the paint the Germans are a lot sharper on the paint scheme itself and that's the instructions so first PE sheet has just a tremendous amount of small parts you can see here all these little parts to add hooks and uh, devices like that some boxes um, quite a bit of work here everything looks it really nice cast this actually has a couple of broken parts that came on mine uh, nothing that can't be fixed but still a couple of broken parts there nothing major though looking at uh, more parts of the actual you have your bucket, your uh, blade. Uh, these are all real thin, real nice uh, quality casting. Uh, looks accurate and to scale. Very impressed with all this. More pieces, like I said, lots of little parts to add and do. Definitely a tedious one. Lots of good detail to it. One of the things you'll notice in this kit is there's lots of parts from the uh, Leopard 2A6 model, um, the hatches and different parts in here. Uh, those obviously aren't going to be used in this kit. Uh, spare barrels, things like that. Um, if you're building a lot of these vehicles, some of these things are kind of nice to have laying around for whatever reason. And you have your side skirts. They have a couple extra little steps here on these engineering vehicles. This is all part of the boom setup. Uh, really nice. On the back side of the armor, there's no uh, details added in these little 
uh, holes from casting. That would be my only criticism because a lot of times, on the, especially engineering, they're going to flip the back side up around the drive sprocket to keep it from getting uh, fouled up. So that's going to be a little bit extra work if you wanted to add that detail. Um, but other than that, uh, really nice job here. Continuing on, hatches, boxes, little control panels, different things like that. The uh, Swiss version has a slide mold for the uh, machine gun on the roof and it has two different barrel options. What's neat is they have a nice hole drilled in this in it uh, which goes pretty deep so a really nice quality look there. You're going to have two of these. This is your drive sprocket and some other parts and then uh, track assembly. Um, Lots of the details, little bitty things. This is actually from the uh, Leopard 2A6 model, so there's several parts on here you're not going to be using. Here's your road wheels, multiples of these. Uh, my only criticism is, is they don't have the uh, manufacturer information on the inside of the uh, road wheel. It would be a nice thing to be, have added, but it's not there. Um, but uh, other than that, it's really nice. The uh, smoke launchers are really good quality casting. Uh, nice print job on that. Here's uh, all your track links to be assembled, and you've got a uh, top and a bottom for the track and then the uh, rods in the middle um, this works out pretty good they're uh, generally pretty straightforward in the assembly process uh, I've done several of these and I'm real happy with the results they, uh, they don't have any of the worn versions but with that's just a little bit of a sandpaper you can easily make these look all worn out and weathered not just the brand new right out of the box look here's the two different uh, decks you're gonna have the uh, Swiss version and the German version um, real good casting quality. They uh, did a nice job. You've got your uh, non-skid and they're about the right looking height. They're not too thick, not too thin. They got really nice weld lines here around the uh, hull area for the uh, these different parts. Really, really can't do it justice in, in the painting process. That's something to definitely uh, detail up. This one here is a lot like the other one. You've got uh, different parts there up in here. The other one was broken. This one's also uh, broke here. But uh, other than that, everything looks really good. Here's the lower hull. You've got the deck plate here. You've got your access points there, uh, the bottom plate, and then your sides. One of the things I don't know is on this vehicle if they have these uh, extra supports actually on it where a lot of the other uh, German engineering vehicles don't have it. The other thing is, is it does not have the mine protection plate on the bottom. Um, that would be something I would assume the Germans would add, especially in an engineering vehicle. But like I said, I don't have any information one way or the other on that. This had one of the uh, parts was popped off, but nothing's broke on it. Here's this piece here. Now, both of these are going to be from the uh, Leopard uh, 2A6 model. Um, you're going to have, obviously, some parts cut out here. Uh, they've kind of cut out a lot of it you don't need and then left those things. Your back plate, uh, these are part of the uh, storage rack on the turret that you don't have. Obviously, your side protectors and these side skirts, uh, those are different on this vehicle. Uh, but once again, you've got some extras here along with your siphoning uh, line there and the commander's uh, upper portion of the hatch. So here you've got uh, your couple of sheets with PE on it. Uh, these are really nice, thin, easily workable PE sheets. Quite a lot of bending to do on some of this stuff. Um, here's back in the engine area. Uh, lots of little bitty parts here to install. Uh, definitely a little bit of a tedious process. Good glass on all your periscopes here. Here's your uh, lines I was talking about. This is for some of the hydraulics. And then you've got this cable, which is probably for the tow lines. Uh, real good quality stuff. And then your basic decals, which are just real simple, nothing special to them. You've got a couple of warning placards and uh, your Swiss marking or your German insignia, but nothing special to that. Um, I know there's a lot more warning placards on this vehicle. I've seen the pictures of it, uh, so it's kind of short on that end. But other than that, really nice quality. So that's the kit. I hope everyone liked it. I'm going to be building this here shortly. I've got some other kits lined up that I'm also excited about, but this is definitely something I've been looking forward to. Um, anyway, 
Please like, subscribe, comments, questions, always welcome. If you like something you see, as I always say, let me know. If you don't like something I did or said, please tell me. It helps me do a better job. More videos coming soon. Like I said, like, subscribe, hit the bell for reminders. Lots of videos coming out. I know I said that, but I just want to remind everybody. Anyway, take care. Happy modeling. Uh, more things coming soon. Reviews and some builds. Bye-bye.